Hi, I am Satya, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Applications, KSR College of Arts and Science, Fariman, Tuchungur. Now we are going to discuss about Python programming, unit 3, 4 and 5. Function. Python function is a block of statement that return the specific task, the data. The idea is to put some commonly or repeatedly 10 tasks to together and make the function so that instead of writing the same code again and again for different inputs, we can do the function call to reuse code content it is over and over again. We define a function in python using the def keyword function call. Arguments are the values passed inside the parenthesis of the function. A function can have any number of arguments separated by a comma. To call a function in python you simplify type the name of function followed by the parenthesis. If the function take any arguments they are included within the parenthesis. Variable scope and uh, lifetime. Python variables are the contain, container for storing data values. Unlike other languages like C, C++, Java, Python is not uh, st uh, statistical typed. We do not need to declare any variable before using them or declare that type. A variable is created by the moment we, f we first assign a value to it. To make the ABO program work, we need to use global keyword. We only need to use global keyword in a function. If we want to do assign change them, global is not needed for printing and assessing. Why Python, Python assumes we want to local variable due to assignment to a inside of a uh, inside of so that first print statement throws in an error message. Required arguments. Required arguments are the arguments passed to a function in correct po a positional order. The number of arguments in the function call should match exactly with the function defin definition. Required arguments are the arguments passed to a function in correct position order. Here the number of arguments in the function call should match exactly with the function definition. Keyword arguments. Python provides different way of passing the arguments during the function call from the which we will explore keyword only arguments means passing the arguments by using the parenthesis names during the function call keyword arguments or named arguments or value that when passing, passing into a function or uh, identify by specific parenthesis names a keyword argument is proceed by the parenthesis parameter and the assignment Python uh, keyword arguments Python provides different way of passing the arguments during the function call from which we will explore keyword only arguments means passing the arguments by using the parameter name during the function call keyword arguments or value that when passing into a function or identify by specific parameter uh, parameter names a keyword argument is uh, proceed by the parameter and the assignment operator equal to keyword arguments can can be linked into a dictionaries in the in that they map a value to a keyword. Default arguments. In Python, a default parenthesis is defined within a fallback value as a default argument. Such parameters are optional during a function call. If no arguments is provided, the default value is used and if the argument is provided, it will override the default value. Python allow to define a function with the default value assigned to a one or more formal arguments. Python use the default value for such argument if no value is passed to it. If any value is passed, the default value is overwritten within the actual value passed. Variable length arguments. We will cover about variable length arguments in Python. Variable length arguments refer to your features that follow a function to accept a variable, num variable number of arguments in Python. It is also known as the arguments that can also accept the un unlimited amount of data as input inside the function in python variable length arguments are a way to pass a variable number of arguments to a function this means this means that you you can pass any number of arguments to a function and the function will handle them all regression it means the rep repeatedly application of a uh, procedure or a definition it is the same in programming and applied to the function any function that call itself it is a body repeatedly until a particular condition because a uh, false and the target task is done in called a regressive function and this procedure is called a regression string operation python string is a collection of character uh, surrounding by single quotation double quotation or triple quotation the computer does not understand the characters internally it store manipulate character as the combination of the zeros and ones python string is a sequence of unicode character that is enclosed in quotation marks it is article we will discuss in a 
built in string function that is the function provided in python to operate on string immutable string python string is immutable which means they cannot be changed after they are creating since string cannot be changed we we constant a new string as we go to represent compute values string is string in python are immutable which means they cannot be changed after they are created some other immutable data types are integer float boolean etc modules python module is a file that contain built in function classes itself variables there are many python modules each with its specific work we will cover all about python modules such as how to create our own simple module import python modules from statements in python we can use the alias to rename the module etc we will cover all about python modules such as how to create our own simple module import python modules from statements in python uh, we can use the alias to rename module etc list create a list list in python can be created by just placing the sequence inside the sequence brackets unlike set as a list does not need to need a built in function for its create of a list to create a list in python write set of items within square brackets and separate each item within a comma items in a list can be can be any basic object type found in python including integer string floating point values or boolean values as is a list python has a great built in type type named list list literals are written within square brackets list work similarly to string use the len function and the square brackets to access data with the first element in the index 0 index number use the index operator to access an item in a list the index must be an integer nested list or the accessing using nesting indexing update update a list python update function is set at elements from a set pass as a argument to the set if the element is present in both of the set then the elements come comes only one time in the update set the first and second list is convert to the set using the set function the update method method is then used to merge the elements of set 2 into a set 1 resulting in combined reset the code print in this update set next the update method is applied again include the elements from the third list list 3 into the already updated set 1 nested list a list within another list is referred to as the nested list in python we can also say the list that has other list as its elements in a nested list when we want to keep several set of uh, connected data in a single list this can help this can helpful list comprehensive or one one of the most amazing features in, of python tuples creating a tuple in python create a tuple is possible by adding elements to parentheses and separating them using a comma tuples can be also create with without using parentheses by using the tuple packing techniques python tuple can be created by specifying comma separated values inside of parentheses value inside of tuple cannot be modified once created let's create a tuple of the first five odd number and then try to change one of them to be to be a number that is not odd that is not odd access a tuple accessing brackets we can perform the possible get of uh, front of rare elements in tuple using the access bra- brackets in similar way in which for which element can be accessed in a list sometimes while working with a record we have problem in which we need to access the initial and last data of particular record this kind of problem can have a application in many domains let's discuss some ways in which this problem can be solved deleting a tuple since the advent of popularity of python in data analysis we have a list of tuples as a container in many of our problems sometimes while data pro- pre processing we might have a problem in which need to completely remove a particular element from a list of tuples let's discuss a way in which this task can be performed first a list of tuple name test list is initialized with some values the original list is uh, printed using the print function and string concatenation a variable n is uh, declared and assigned a value of 6 Dif- list difference tuple list and tuple list are mutable tuples are immutable the immu- im implication of iteration is time consuming the list is better of performing operations such as insertion and deletion 
the implica implication implication of iteration is a comprehensively foster a triple data type in appropriate for assessing the elements triple consumes less memory as com compared to the list triple does not have many built in methods list consume more memory list have several built in method unexpe unexpected changes and errors are more likely to occur because a triple does not change the array less er error for me a python dictionary is dictionary a python dictionary is a data structure that store the value in key value pairs as as you can see from the from the example data is stored in key value pair in dictionary which which makes it easier to find value dictionary in python is a data structure used to store value in key value format this market is different from a list triples and array as a dictionary uh, each key has a associated values differentiate list and dictionary list list or list or just like arrays declared in other language python dictionary on the other hand is unordered collection of data values list need not homogeneous uh, always which make it most powerful tool in python used used to store data values like a map unlike other data type that hold only a single value as a element dictionary hold a key value pair a single list may contain data types like integer string as a well as object list are mutable and hence even after their creations key value is provided in the dictionary to make it more optimized file handling file handling in python is a powerful and versatile tool that can be used to perform a wide range of operations however it is important to careful consider the advantages and disadvantages of file handling when writing python programs to ensure that code uh, code is secure uh, reliable and performance well python supports file handling and allow user to handle files that is to read and write files along with many other file handling operations to operate on files The concept of file handling has uh, stretched over various other language but the implementation is easier complicated or uh, lengthy like other concept of python and this concept here is also easy and short types of file handling python provides built in functions for creating writing and reading files two types of file can be handled in python normal text file and binary file text files in this type of file each line of text is uh, terminated with a special character called end of line which which the which is the new line character in python by default binary files in in this type of file there is no terminator for, uh, for a file and the data is stored after converting it into machine underst understandable binary language opening file there are two types of file that can be handled in python normal text file and binary file written binary language zeros and ones opening a file refer to getting the file ready either for reading or writing this can be done using the open function the function return a file object and take two arguments one one that accept the file name and other accept the mode closing file the python has a closing method to close a file the close close method can be called more than once if the any operation in performed on a closed file is raise a value error the below code uh, so a simple use of close uh, close method to a close and open the file so python automatically close a file if the refer object in file is allocated to another file it is standard practice to close an opened file as a closed file reduce risk of being unwantedly modified or read reading and writing file reading only or open text file for reading the hand the handle is positioned at the beginning of the file if the file does not exit raise the input output error this is also the default mode in which a file is opened write only open the file for writing for the exiting file the data truncated and overwritten the handle is positioned at the beginning of the file create the file if the file does not exit writing a file the writing method is used to write te uh, text to the console without adding a new line character at the end of the text the write line method is used to write text to the console and add a new line character at the end of the text uh, caching the next output to appear on a new line append method append is a python predefined method used to add a single item to certain collection types 
without the append method developer would have to alter the entire collections code for adding a single value or item its primary use case in same for a list collection type read and read line the main differentiate is that read function will read the whole file at once at the print out the character that take up the many bytes as you specify in the parenthesis versus the read line that will read the print out only the first character that take up a many byte as you specify in the parenthesis splitting words python string split method split a string into a list of string after breaking the given string by the specified separator using the list split method is very easy just to call the split function with a string object and pass the separate as a parameters here we have using the python string split function to split a different string into a list separate by different characters in each case file name or open a exiting file for a read operation w open a exiting file for writing operation if the file already contains some data that it will overwritten but if the file is not present then it creates the file as well a open a exiting file for appending operation it would not overwrite exiting data or plus to read and write data into a file w plus to write and read data a plus to append and read data from a file it would not overwritten exiting data file position the seek function is built in function in python that is used to set the current position for the pointer within a file the file pointer is a marker uh, that indicate the current position in the file and it is used to read or write data from the point rename and delete file the rename method uh, take two arguments the current file and the new file you can use the remove method to delete files by supplying the name of the file to be delete as your argument thank you